welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to a vegan cafe at the marina. So I'm going to bring you along and then I want to talk to you about what happened to me last week. So I had terrible, terrible migraines all week. So let's touch on the topic of migraines, hormones and thyroid disease today. We just finished at lunch, it was so delicious, and this here is my friend Mavs. Hi. <laughs> so now we're going for a walk, and I think we're gonna treat ourselves to some gelato. <laughs> I am so full now. We had the biggest gelatos. I had mango and lemon, and my friend Mavs, she had mango and vanilla. So we had the most beautiful lunch, and then, yeah, it was really a lovely day. In my last video, a couple of you asked about my hair, so I just thought I'd share with you the products that I'm using because they've definitely made a difference in the health of my hair. As you can see, I get my hair highlighted, so that definitely has an effect on the health of my hair, but I've started using the um, L'Oreal Professional Absolute Repair line, and that's what I just wash my hair with, so I wash my hair about once or twice a week, and then I also use this Olaplex Hair Perfected Treatment. Now this isn't a leave-in conditioner or anything. Um, it is a bond builder. So you put it on before you wash your hair. So I wet my hair and then I dry it. And then I pop this on. Now it says that you can put it in for up to about 10 minutes or longer. I like to wear it for as long as possible. So I usually wet my hair in the morning and then I pop this on and I leave it on all day and then I wash my hair at night time. And this is a miracle worker. When I use this twice a week, my hairdresser can see a huge difference in my hair health. So if you're struggling with brittle hair, um, I highly, highly recommend Olaplex. It's amazing. This isn't sponsored or anything. I Honestly, I've never done a sponsored video or sponsored post before. I just like to share with you all the products that I truly love and truly work for me. And Olaplex has been a huge one with hair. As you would know from having thyroid conditions, your hair health just, oh my gosh, it goes out the door. But this, this is a lifesaver for me. Oh, I'm sitting in an uncomfortable position. So, let me tell you what happened to me last week. I, um, I got the worst migraines ever. Oh my gosh. I... Normally, like if you ever get migraines, there's a, like a point that you can kind of catch it and if you can manage it up to that point, you're usually like okay, but if you get over this point, like you're a mess. And this migraine, it just snuck up on me. I was not expecting it at all. Like it just, it came so fast and I was... I was vomiting, I was bedridden for three days, and I was in excruciating pain. And the minute I thought I felt better, I'd get up out of bed, and I was just so dizzy and nauseous. Um, I couldn't do anything. I literally had to lie in bed for three days. But before that, I could feel I was starting to feel a little bit funny, so I stopped training because I knew that if I pushed myself, I would make everything worse. I stopped training. Like I literally haven't been to the gym in a week. Yesterday was the first day back for me. Um, so yeah, I could feel like something was going on and then I had this horrendous migraine for three days and then the couple of days after I decided not to work out just in case I triggered it and I made it come back again. I just grabbed my phone because I made a couple of notes on, um, on migraines and my symptoms. I was documenting it last week as it was happening. Some of the things that trigger my migraines are definitely dehydration skipping meals synthetic fragrances is a huge one for me in headaches i can't wear perfume anymore i have a diffuser that i use every day i can only use pure essential oils in it if i use any synthetic fragrances straight away i get headaches so that's candles you know perfumes even going to the shops and they spray a lot of perfume at you here in dubai i get an instant headache um in the taxis like I get motion sick really easily and especially if they have those air fresheners in the car I know that I'm a goner if that is there 
Um, definitely stress is a huge one, lack of sleep, and then my hormones. So normally like a couple of days before my cycle starts, that's when I get headaches. And I thought that's clearly got something to do with that. So I went online and I had a little read and I found this. It says that estrogen controls chemicals in the brain that affect the sensation of pain. So before your cycle, like usually two to three days before your cycle starts, your estrogen levels drop and that is what causes migraines in women, particularly if you have thyroid, um, you know, thyroid disease or thyroid conditions as well, your estrogen levels really drop. So that all made a lot of sense to me. And it said that um, magnesium can help with that. Now I'm reluctant to just go out and take magnesium without consulting with my endocrinologist because I know that um, you know, my levels is such a, such a delicate thing and I don't want to take anything and, and tip anything off. So I'll speak to him when I see him next time, but I'm not going to do that. But some other things that do help me that I do, kind of like more natural remedies that ease my symptoms. So I keep looking down because I've got my phone and I'm reading because I made some notes. So the natural things that definitely help me are peppermint oil. I carry peppermint oil with me in my handbag. I pop it on my temples and if I can feel a headache coming on, I'll pop it in the diffuser. Um, drinking a ton of water. If I haven't drank water, about four o'clock, I'll start to feel a headache coming on and then I know, wait, like when was the last time I drank? So I try and drink about two to three liters a day. An ice pack really helps. So I put it on the back of my neck or on my eyes now you can get medication i don't like to take medicine just i just don't i don't like pen at all sometimes if i'm desperate i will take something my mom told me that you can get these they're kind of like a wafer that you put on your tongue um before you get a migraine and that can help i haven't i haven't seen a doctor about my migraines um just because i only get them about once a month at the moment if they're as bad as i had last week then i'll definitely look into some more forms of pain relief for these but at the moment these natural things seem to really help so other things i do is uh, i go in a dark room my phone and just screens really trigger me like if you've ever got a migraine you'll know you kind of get like um splotches of light like your eyes can't focus and you can't see good so looking at a phone is the absolute worst so i definitely turn everything off and i just shut my curtains and i just stay in a dark room while i'm feeling like that having a nap having a nap cures everything if you ask me <laughs> and then sometimes a hot shower so just being in the shower and just having the hot water on my head it just seems to really help me as well so they're just a couple of little natural things that I do. Please, if you suffer from migraines and you have any um, any tips or any remedies that you use as well, please let me know because um, this is something kind of new that I'm dealing with and um, I don't know much about them yet. So these are just the things that I've done. Like these are just some things that I've kind of figured out. But please, if you know some better things that could help me, please share them below because... I I hate these migraines, they're horrible. And if you get migraines, I can sympathize so much because literally the one I had last week, oh my gosh, I was it, oh, I was so sick. It was horrible, 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 horrible. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone that voted. Um, like I, I want my uploads to be more regular. So I put a little poll on YouTube where that's so cool. I didn't know there was that feature. I can talk to you guys now. So keep an eye out. I might post some other questions or just randomly pop in and say hi. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I just wanted to know if you'd like two videos a week or one video a week, but the majority of you just wants one video. So I'll be trying to upload one video every Wednesday from now on. But that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.